Hello from me and greetings from Arnie. In this episode I'm going to take you to my kitchen to show Arnie's behavior while we are cooking or having some meal. Additionally, I will share our experience with Arnie's favorite and sadly useless toys. Finally, we will just walk in our favorite park. I believe that everyone loves food and since the moment you have a dog, cat or any other animal at home, your cooking or eating process gets much more fun. I have to confess that what I give him here is actually dog's snacks and he gets them if he behaves well, like just refraining from coming closer to the cooking table and stealing something. Arnie never misses a chance to catch a smell of some food and the smell of cheese, strawberries or any type of fish is his favorite. I'm not mentioning some meat or chicken because it's something attractive by default for any dog. We never give him food from our plates but it does not stop Barney from tasting the smell and endless attempts to earn a piece of food. Once he sees that mission to get our food is impossible, Arnie just lay down near his plate and yeah, just waiting for his brunch, lunch or dinner. Our dogs, even though they are so annoying from time to time, but they are so cute. Alright, it's time to test a new toy. I'm a big fan of Kong products but some of them are just sadly useless for a giant dog like Arnie. I purchased this uh, bowl for approximately 17 euros one week ago. As you can see Arnie is super excited about this new toy, but after 15 minutes of playing I took it back because the surface of this toy is not sufficiently resistant to Arnie's teeth. And I think that finally he cut a piece of plastic. In general the toy is great, especially for mid-sized or smaller dogs. You can put some food inside, inside this bowl, and while rolling it some pieces will out and will bring a lot of joy and pleasure to a happy dog. So the bowl is dedicated to rolling and not for chewing it. 
So, Arnie is too big. He can just grab this toy by his teeth and start chewing it. I have to put this toy in the shelf and maybe it will be useful once we have a second puppy. The damage you can see it's after 15 minutes playing with Arnie. The next toy was the best ever bought for him. It's an XXL super strong black cone for chewing and it cost about 20 euros. I bought a new one of this model because the previous one has already been serving us for more than 7 months and it looks um, quite used. <laughs> this black conk is heavy and super strong. It's almost impossible to cut a piece of it while chewing. An additional tip, there is a hole in the bottom and you can hide some food inside. But this toy is Arnie's favorite one. And now his happiness doubles as he can play with both of them at the same time. One more unlucky purchase of Toys from Kong, this artificial bone. It costs us about 13 euros and I believe that it will definitely suit some puppies but not for Arnie. 20 minutes after he started playing with it I found out him eating tiny pieces of plastic. Arnie, where is your Kong? Where is your Kong? So good. 
And this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And once again, thank you for all the comments you leave after each series. I hope you found there some valuable information or just some rest and joy. Have a wonderful week and the best wishes from the land of the sun. See you soon.